Hi, my name is David Estrada. I'm the NPI product manager at Exit Technology. Today we're going to give you a quick look of our, the technology that we use to conduct some of the drive tests of our XMAX network. This is a mobile voice over IP network of first of its kind. Uh, we'll also be giving you a brief demonstration of our mobile voice over IP network operating in an urban environment. So we'll do a quick drive around uh, the city of Sunrise, Florida. Uh, this is the demonstrations that we're showcasing here uh, for anybody that's interested. Uh, what we will do is we're going to make a phone call to one of our offices in Sarasota, Florida, where our, one of our members is waiting, and we'll do a quick, uh, we'll have a quick conversation so you guys can see it. Uh, now moving on to the items that we will use, the tools that we're going to use for this test. Uh, we have the TX60. This is our handset for the proof of concept and testing. Uh, many of you have seen it on the website. We're also going to connect it to a Bluetooth speakerphone so that you can hear the conversation on the video. Then we're going to also connect it to the x system. I will show you how the call is continuous and even though I will plug it into the laptop to showcase x the call is continuous and you'll see it working on and off the, the cable. Uh, the x is connected to a GPS, uh, GPS in the car so that it can track where we're at and it can give information back to the x system as well. And I will show you how the, using x we can tell where the handset is connected as far as towers, channels, and sectors, and how it actually hands off to between all of them. So we'll get started. We're going to make a quick call. Hello, this is Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Hi, As you can see, the uh, TX60 is connected to the Bluetooth speakerphone. I can showcase how it is indeed connected to this speakerphone. Hi, is Galinda? Uh-huh. Who are you? This is David. We're calling you during the drive test. How's everything over okay. there? Great. So Everything is great here. Okay, good. So I'm going to go ahead before I get started, I'm going to connect really quick the handset to the x system, if you don't mind holding for a second. Okay. All right, thank you. So now I'm going to connect the TX60 to the x Okay. And you will see here on the x where it says connect the handset. Start a log of the call. <coughs> And now you can see very clearly how x shows where it is connected. Right now we're currently connected to Tower 1, Channel 12. And there's about five other channels available that the headset is already detected. And the system will quickly change, and that's one of our advantages, it will quickly change to the best channel available at any time. So we can go ahead and get started on the drive. We will go now through um, the City of Sunrise. We are by Oakland Park Boulevard and University Drive. And we're going to do a quick drive. So currently we're still on Tower 1, Channel 12. Belinda, are you there? I am here. Okay, if you don't mind, could you give me a quick countdown from 10, uh, from 1 to 10? I sure will. Let's go down from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thank you, Belinda. As you can see, the system keeps changing. It shows all the different channels that become available as we move. That's because as, as we're moving along, the system continues to scan for the best channels possible. Now I'm seeing two other towers, Tower 6 and Tower 5, and other channels, but still is connected to Tower 1 and Channel 12. So very, as soon as we make a quick left turn here and we drive down University, we probably see our first hand up, and you will see how in the center of the screen, uh, it will change from Tower 1 to probably uh, uh, Tower 5 or Tower 6. In the meantime, we're still connected to Tower 1 and Channel 12, but I'll show a quick uh, demonstration of just a normal conversation with anybody on our XMAX network. So, Linda, if you don't mind me asking, have you heard the news today about the Olympics? I heard it with you, yeah. When, uh, I heard it about, what, about 10 minutes ago. So what do you think? About the... Uh, Summer Olympics going to Rio de Janeiro instead of to Chicago. Yep, it's going. A lot of people were disappointed that it didn't go to Chicago. It's all over the news and CNN and Fox and everywhere. A lot of sad faces. I know. Yeah. But in contrast, I mean, I, in contrast, I know. 
in contrast, Brazil was um, very happy. They're they're having a party over there. Oh yeah, I see the pictures of it on uh, CNN. I was uh, I used to live in Chicago, so oh, I'm so sure they're definitely very disappointed. Uh, yeah, I, w- I would bet. Uh, I haven't heard any statements from Obama though. Have you? No. Um, I was looking to see if I could find something, but I haven't seen anything. Yeah, I'm curious to see what he's gonna say myself. Um, and I'm just gonna stop yeah. it for I'm gonna stop it for just a second. As you can see, we're already starting moving. We're driving about 40 to 45 miles an hour, which is the speed limit here in university. And we're still connected uh, to Tower One Channel 12, but uh, very soon we'll see most likely a handoff to another tower. Actually, we just did, as you probably can catch it there on video. We changed from Tower Five to Tower Ten, and we just changed back to Tower One. So we're at a spot where the system is constantly scanning back and forth and is handing off, but you could see how quickly it can do it and doesn't affect the call at all. So, Belinda, uh, going back to the conversation so that we can demonstrate here how even through a handoff, the conversation is not affected. Um, have you heard any other interesting current events? I am looking at a couple things on here. Um, not, not anything that's really uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's CNN. It is CNN, so... Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, it, I, I'm seeing, you know, David Letterman's on the news and talking about the tsunami and the earthquakes and different things like that, so... Yeah, that's definitely um, very sad indeed. Uh, uh, but on, in contrary, the good news is the, the X-Max network is working and we're showcasing it on video uh, for the first time. I, it, well, actually, not the first time. It will be the second time since uh, Rich Tarani from TNC actually posted some videos uh, on the web, so if anybody's interested, they yeah. can actually see from a, uh, an objective point of view. Uh, they can go and see somebody reviewing and testing our XMAX network. Uh, but we did want to showcase a, a, a more detailed video uh, of our XMAX network showing the handoffs. And so, what, what else uh, did you what did you see? Uh, Belinda, you're there. What? Yeah, up here. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, I was reading an article. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. So, as you can see, we just changed the Tower 5, Channel 10, as Belinda was speaking to me, and there was just no issues at all. Uh, so, now uh, we're actually speeding, uh, not speeding, we're going 40 or 45, still speed limit, uh, down University Drive. Uh, we're approaching, we're about a quarter of a mile from uh, uh, Sunrise Boulevard. We're going to make another left turn, and uh, then quickly uh, go east, I guess, towards uh, 441. We'll probably show another handoff right about there, and uh, we'll end the call uh, after, after that. But uh, the main thing we wanted to show is, is how the call is not affected. Uh, Linda's still on the other end of the line, and we had a conversation, here. and we did multiple handoffs, and there was just no issues whatsoever. So. Um, this is what extra utility does, and I will go ahead and uh, disconnect now the handset, so you can see how the handset will work the same way, with or without the extra being connected to it. So, just disconnected the handset on the software, and I am now, as you can see, on the handset itself. Uh, there's no wires, anything connected to it. The Bluetooth uh, speakerphone is still connected, and Belinda, are you on the other line? I'm still here. Okay, great. Can you do another uh, countdown? One to ten, if you don't mind. I sure can. Let's go to ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's perfect. Thank you. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to show you a handoff since the handset is no longer uh, connected. But again, what we wanted to showcase is the conversation. Uh, quality is great, there has been no issues, we've gone through handoffs, we've gone through different channels, and the call still continues and good. Uh, Belinda, again, thank you so much. Uh, if you hear any interesting news or anything from Obama, I'd be happy to know. Maybe you can call me and let me know. Uh, I will, I'll give you a call. All right, thank great you. talking to you, David. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. Call ended? End of call. So, uh, as you can see, this is basically the XMAX Mobile Voice Variety Network. 
uh, call quality is great. We're looking forward to continuing rolling it out. Uh, if anybody is interested, uh, they can call us at 954-941-0395. I apologize, that's 954-572-0395. Uh, or you can contact us via our website. That's xgtechnology.com. Okay. Thank you so much. My name is David Estrada.